Welcome back to the Utah Fishing Channel. We're here at Schofield this morning. We're gonna see how the fishing is and give you a quick report. It's freezing. That's the first thing you need to know. Well below zero. Super cold. He's about ready to go home. Let's get this set up. If you stick around till the end of the video, we'll show you exactly what we use to catch fish. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It really does a lot to help the channel. And don't forget that we post new videos on Mondays. Thanks again for watching. So, looks like it's like 22, 23 inches thick. It's a lot of ice. Hopefully there's some fish under there. Okay, so we got three holes and we're going to try some glow-in-the-dark jigs. We'll see which ones work. We'll start with this green one. Think we're going to catch anything? <laughs> he thinks we're gonna get skunked. We probably are. Hello. Hello. I think I dropped all my pink ones down the hole. Ah! Ah! They're in the box. We'll see the woods. I see. The fishing was slow in our first spot, so we're gonna. We're gonna move to another place and see how it is over here. Hopefully it's better. We're moving to a place where there's, uh, it's a bit more shallow. There's a channel that runs through here and it's, there's some weeds. They're not coming back. Oh, oh one's coming back for mommy. Really? Yeah. It came back for mommy. Oh, there he is. There he is. He just took it. I think you got him. I think you got him. I think you got him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> yes. Got him. Way to go, dude. Keep him up. Yeah. Hey, you want to put him back? This is a good one. There's a fish playing with his bait here. See it? Yeah, they yeah, can see it. Guys, we're catching some. They're oh. just fighting. Oh, one darted at it. One darted at it. They're like the little sharks. Yeah, they are. He's coming, he's coming. He's circling. He's looking at it. Here he comes. He's the big one. He was the big one. He's the king. Come on, take it, take it. Stop nibbling it, just take it. Here it goes, here it goes. Here we go. Please head up. Oh, boy, hang on. Uh-oh, he's got the power bait. He was. Here he is. Ah, oh, missed him. Come back, little guy. Kind of, we're almost just like setting it with our hands because it's just, if you set it too hard, then they, there he is again. If you set it too hard, then it comes out of the hole. So I'm setting the hook in my hand. Here he comes. Oh, oh spit it out. I gotta be faster on that hook set. I was trying to let him chew on it for a little bit. There he goes. We got him. Again? Yes. You got the same fish. Hey, do you want to reel him in? He's a big cutty, dude. Where's the power in? Hold him with two arms, drop it. I think I got a tiger now. Yes! There's another one down there towards the earth. Get ready. Oh! Where is he? Comes to mine. That is so cool. And they're all starting to bite right when we have to leave. It's the worst. You gotta watch out for their teeth. They got some got some nasty teeth too. Oh. Dude, dude, dude. Holy oh, smokes! That is a good fish. What do you think about that, man? Ah! 
Nice. They're just kind of tapping it like really lightly. So, I mean, we're in four feet of water right now and luckily we can see what's going on. Otherwise we'd have no idea that most of these bites were happening. So you probably want to go somewhere where you can see five, four, five, like between four to six feet in depth and you can look down and because they're biting really light right now. We haven't hooked any fish that we didn't watch the bite on. Like the only reason we got them is because we saw them take it. So Matthew's doing a good job though. Yeah. Dude, you're catching fish. Good stuff. Yeah, I got, I got one. the first one. to move these jigs a lot and then letting them sit and the moving moving the jigs gets them their attention and then you have to let it sit and that's usually when they take the bite is when it's like sitting still oh there was one right there there he is oh i just lost him in the hole that's the hard part one of the hard parts about fishing in shallow water i've said this before is you set the hook and you're like right at the hole already so the chances of hitting them on the base of the hole and losing them are pretty high. It's kind of annoying. You really need a fish! Yeah, you do. So even though we're in like four feet of water, we're still catching them about six inches to a foot off of the bottom. A few things that have been working is we have a, a jig tipped with power bait. We've caught a fish on that. We have a, yeah, we have a jig over here, a pink one. Well, it's got a white jig head tipped with a worm. We've caught fish on that. And that's glow in the dark pink. Let's drop that back in. And then on this one, we have a white and green glow in the dark um, jig with a, just a normal jig head and a worm tipped with a worm. Um, that's what we've had the most success on so far. You shoveling still? Make sure it's all clear for everybody. Being able to see made all, what? Oh, thanks dude. Being able to see seriously made all the difference. We fished for quite a while without feeling anything and then we moved to a spot where it was shallow and clear enough to see the bottom and we started seeing those shadows moving and a couple fins and we were able to watch and see how the fish were reacting and make adjustments according to how they were reacting that's the tricky part about fishing blind is when you can't see what they're up to you're just kind of guessing and changing it up and waiting for a big bite but these bites were really soft right now i don't know if i had something to do with early february but usually i can catch them without having to watch them well, this is the funnest type of fishing in my opinion when you can actually see see them taking it